in a hospital. And I was born May 7th, 1926. And I was one of the, the little girls that came here from Italy when I was two months old on a ship. Yeah, my pa was in First World War, my father. He got discharged from the States. Then he went back to Italy and married Ma, my mother, your grandmother. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> Pete was born. And he had a twin. But Pete's twin did not live. Then there was another boy and he was about a year old, he got pneumonia or something like that. And then I was born two months old coming across the ocean. Wow. Yeah, you did, were you, young did like, you know that? I knew you were young, but I didn't know you were like a really little yeah, baby. I was, yeah, at two months old, can you imagine a baby coming across wow. the ocean in a boat? That would be horrible. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and that's what happened. And then... So, when, how do you celebrate Christmas? When, when we were young? Yeah, what yeah. would you do? All like, right. did you have a Christmas tree or any special decorations? Or things decorations like were just things that Ma had in the house. Mm -hmm. We didn't have no great big trees. Okay. And we had... Got, we had wreaths, is what it was. And then we would go to church. Mm -hmm. Midnight Mass, we'd walk wow. from the west side to Sacred Heart. That was Christmas, and Ma would bake everything for Christmas stuff. Raisin things, and knots, and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then Ma would, was a special person, and, there, and that's why I get stuck on the bread at Louie's. Ma would make her own homemade bread. She'd take it and make it about this big around. And when she'd uh, let them rise, she'd take slabs of wood and put them on there to let it rise. And then Pa would start that outside oven it was brick, it looked like an igloo. <laughs> <laughs> I never forgot that. And then when um, when uh, Ma, the bread would rise, Ma would take it out on, and with the slabs and put it in that oven. That was out back. Yeah. And then when Louie's bread, I can't get over I always got to have a slice of bread there because it reminds me of what Ma used to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, whoa. And then, of course, with me, when I worked at the 190 Club, it was um, Pete and John Alessio and Squint Prello. They all got out of the service and they started the 190 Club. Hmm. And then nice. um, I worked there for about three years. That's why I got involved in waitress work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even if I don't work at Louis, I think of all the, <laughs> the people that do. Yeah. Um, well, we have this, and we were wondering if this is a song that is familiar that you guys would s sing in Christmas time. And do you have any other like yeah. songs other that you special know? songs that you could well, sing? I got to think because I'm old. I can't think now. <laughs> the only thing, Venenota Adorminus. What's Vena? Venite. Venite. Adorum. I can't remember now what was okay. these, the, the, the kind of words would it, oh, it shows it, all right. The snow lay on the ground, the stars shine bright. When was, I can't, did we go down this further? 
or just cross of a, I can't tell. Snow lay on the ground, the stars shine bright. When was Mary, daughter per, per of holy? Oh, I can't get all these. Words. Christ was born on, on Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. Christmas, Christmas was Christ was born. Savior. What's that? Say? Savior. Oh yeah. Oh, it split the words. All right. So if that doesn't look familiar to you, that's fine. Well, you know what? With me, me with music, I used to. Every time the radio was on, or the jukeboxes, I could always remember all the songs that were played, and I'd sing in my mind or out loud. <laughs> yeah. And you are my sunshine, my <laughs> only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I remember when you would sing that to me on that video. Oh yeah, you remember? Oh God. And then of course, there's. Uh, Are there any other um, traditional other songs. traditional songs that you would sing? Um, in Italian, in see, I I uh, couldn't speak English in first grade. But I could, I knew how to speak Italian, but I didn't know how to sing songs then, see? Because my mother was the one that was this, the teacher of all of this stuff. And I can't remember, uh, I can't think right now about that kind of stuff right now. But I can remember Christmas when everybody sang Christmas songs, we thought that was the greatest thing there was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause, and, um, Sounds like fun. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, w in those days, uh, people that were on the West Side were not rich people. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> we were lucky to get gifts. Yeah, because we were gift with love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there any um, popular traditions that you guys would do at the house and just like, at the house at Christmas the time? Would do? I'm trying to think right now. <laughs> it's, it's funny because we'd always uh, wait at Christmas Eve for the th the bells to ring. <laughs> That's what I remember is about Christmas in New Year's time. And then when we'd uh, go to church, we'd always make sure we had a hat and a coat. <laughs> that was our thing. We'd go to church on Christmas Eve. Yeah, that's yeah. what we do, too. From yeah. church, go to church for that. You go so, to Sacred Heart. Yeah. Yep. Um, so it's also about your background. Like, um, how... How you used to celebrate Christmas? Yeah, like how, like <laughs> how, like what, we were, what it was like when you were younger. Yeah, what we would, would you do? We would be happy and day? say, "God bless us, God bless you, Ma, God bless you, Pa." That was what we do at Christmas, because we were not involved in what the kids have today with radios and televisions. Mm -hmm. There weren't any when I was growing up, but later on, the radio. My dad would always get the station that go to Italy and listen to that. Yeah, but I don't remember any um, different things as far as stuff like we got today. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, what would you do in your normal day of... Like, like not like, around Christmas, just it's like normal. Just normal, like a Monday. Like, like what's your schedule? Yeah, what would you do in your normal Well, day? later on in my young years, <laughs> in 10th grade, <laughs> my days were after I got out of school, 
about three o'clock, I'd go to work. Guess where? The 190 Club? Huh? The 190 Club? No. First, when I first worked at, at Wilson's, it was 41 to 45, the war years. They, I broke eggs. They made powder eggs for the servicemen. So you broke eggs every yes. single day? When I went to work, yeah, after three, I'd work till maybe about eight. You must have mastered that skill. <laughs> and um, now Wilson's is gone. Mm -hmm. Where but where was it? Where you know where Strang's is? Uh -huh. There's business downtown on by on, on Stra by uh, South Frederick Strang's. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah well, it, Wilson's was that building behind Strang's. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. And I never forgot that because when I was started working well before that, went out in the farm field, somebody would pick us up by st and take us to Stanley and pick up rocks out of the farm fields. Yeah, I pick up rocks. And too. then I detasseled. Then I worked at Wilson sorting corn. And then Wilson's. Then the 190 Club, <laughs> that, and when I worked at the 190 Club, Pete, my brother, mm -hmm. and Dominic Prello, and John Alesso, they all got out of the service, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they uh, started the 190 Club. And then I remember one thing there. <laughs> Did I really tell you? Um, I'm not sure. Well, I, I uh, waited on these two men. And they didn't even order a great big meal that day or night when I worked to work about five. Somebody picked me up and take me to work. And they gave me a $5 tip. I about flipped and I wouldn't take it because I wasn't uh, going to take any money from anybody that had to work for everything. When I was only making 75 cents an hour, but you know what they told me? What? He's the richest man in Owain. And, <laughs> and you know why? Who he was? You know the aqua feed place? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Earl Ryan was the man that ran that then. <laughs> Earl Ryan. Can you imagine me not taking a tip. <laughs> but they said he's the richest man in Owain. Yeah. And that's funny when you think of all the funny things that happen in your years. Yeah. yeah. And then of course with me too, then later on, I was one of the ladies that lived on the west side by Donaldson's. Paul and I lived there. And then I was one of the ladies in that group for the Catholic Daughters or uh, Sacred Heart for the Catholic Daughters for that part of town when anything happened that I would get in touch with the people that were on that part of town that where I was living at. And there was different things. I remember Mary Hernandez and Linda Hernandez. Mary just died, mm -hmm. and then there was the, the people on Fifth Avenue there by Donaldson's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got to think of the people now, but I don't know them, but I can't think right now. But all those people that were Catholic I'd have to get in touch with to make sure that if there was anything that they needed for the Rosary Societies that or the, anybody that died or weddings, I'd be the one that get in touch with anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it's different yeah. too then. So tell us about your culture. Like, what would you normally eat? All right. Or, well, like for Christmas foods. Yes, yeah, Christmas foods. Oh, my mother would make little knots <laughs> and uh, Little, uh, uh, looked like a triangle with, made with raisins and nuts and all the sweet stuff that was mm -hmm. put in it. 
Yeah, I can't think what what they are, what they were made in, but that was, I remember that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then my mother would always have chicken. <laughs> yeah. Yum. <laughs> chicken. Yeah, because in those days, we just had the grocery store, pure food grocery that was on the corner by my, where my mother and dad lived and those kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, what's your most popular tradition? Like, what did you do? Yeah, that everybody did. Yeah. For Christmas? Yes. Yeah. We would go to anybody's house that we were in the west side. Mm -hmm. My aunt and Uncle John Stacy, they, my dad's brother, we would make sure that we knew that they were okay and wished them a Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, like, you would go different places? Yeah, in the neighborhood, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause that, because there was about 14 or 15 Italian families that lived on the west side, or more, I can't even think, because even with me, I always remember them, and the Elios, the Rabinos, the Grassos, the... Tangaries and none of them are alive anymore. The the mothers and fathers. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what's sad. Mm -hmm. and um, what does your mother or dad do? Um, for like Christmas. No, any time now. Mm -hmm. Oh, like what they did for work. Yeah. yeah. My parents will we farm. Oh, um, you're farmers. God bless the farmers. <laughs> I never I never knew that when I was young, but I sure do now. Well, I thank God God thank for farmers. Yeah. Yep, we um farm an hour or a uh, mile away from Stanley. Oh a mile from Stanley, which way? Um South, north, or west or east? Like towards <laughs> yeah. Owen. Oh, well, that would be yeah. Uh, yeah. So like we would, we our house goes this way, so we'd have to go to the left and we. Well, I got always th think of Stanley because that's what I did when I was young. Went and picked up rocks out of the farm fields. That's all mm -hmm. that um well, like during summer. There's a lot of that stuff. too now. There ain't there rocks yeah. in the farm fields. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know. hate picking up rocks. <laughs> <laughs> this man had a truck, he'd pick up his kids and take us to Stanley. Mm. I can't even remember because I was a young kid then too. Mm, yeah. It's been a long time. Yep. And what else you... Um, so tell us about your faith. My... my your... Ca Kathy? Yeah. 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 Alright. When I was young, We'd have to make sure that we never ate meat on Fridays. Okay. And we always had to go to church. And we weren't supposed to miss Mass, but if you did, that you'd have to say prayers for redemption. Mm -hmm. I never miss church. So well, I. Yeah. We well, go every kids, single Sunday. Yeah, but you know Even what? When us kids were young, there was no. No car, see? So you had to walk. Yeah, and if we had to walk from uh, the west side on 5th Ave or 6th Avenue, northwest to Sacred Heart, past it, we'd have to go back. That's a long The Vidoc and over the Vidoc, yeah. Mm hmm So what did like, you focus on for Christmas? Yeah, like what was your biggest? Like thing, thing like you what did. was your favorite thing? What like, was your favorite thing? Sing, opening presents. We'd always sing, even if we were a little nutty singing. But we sing on Christmas and Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we always sing. Yep. Okay, and I can't even remember some of the songs. You are uh, Merry Christmas, and I can't think of the names of the songs right now. Um. What was church like, and is it, it, it was it like simi similar, similar to, to like ours? what it is now, or or not? was it all in like a different language? Yeah, well, well was it no, way the, different? The was it different? People in, in Sacred Heart, there were Italians, Mexicans, 
Irish and all the nationalities. So the main thing was the one way to say your prayers in church. Yeah. And now don't eat meat on Friday. Say your prayers before you eat. And we do mm -hmm. that anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, um, did you go places? Like, did you, like, go to somebody, like, did you do something far away to, like, stay there for Christmas and then you come back after no, Christmas? Or I don't think so. You always stayed home for Christmas? Yeah, we were, we, my folks, my mother could not speak English. My dad did. But he worked on the railroad, the Chicago Great Western. Mm -hmm. And by the time he'd go to work, it'd be after 12 o'clock at night before he'd come home. So there was no way that we yeah. could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and did, we were lucky because we had both of them that loved us. And yeah. Took care did of you? Us. Um, like, did you get breaks for holidays from like from school, school or and oh, stuff? Oh yeah, we had days where. You didn't go to school uh, all day because you had to go the day before. Or you had to get out earlier the day before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, we were lucky that way. We had a lot of times when, yeah. yeah. Um, did you guys, like, have a special person that you kind of looked up to, like, like Santa, Santa during Christmas or... Did you ever, like, did you guys, like, believe in Santa? Did you guys, like, believe or, in, like, um, like, things that might not actually be real? Like, like, sa like, well. Some people believe in it and some people don't. Yeah, like Santa. We were, we were uh, taught to believe in God, the Father Almighty. Santa Claus was him. Oh, yep. yeah. 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 So, we like, you didn't believe in, like, the Easter Bunny or Santa or... Or did, like, did you have a special person for a special holiday? Like, Santa Claus? Well, we were always uh, thinking it was the saint that we had Christmas. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Saint Nicholas. Um, so, um, was, was holidays important? Like, very important? Yeah, we were taught that that was special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then of course with us, my dad worked on the railroad. He'd go to work about four or so or a little later, and not come out till about eleven or twelve at night, sometimes later. And mm -hmm. that's why we were not, you know, wild or running around a lot in those times. Mm -hmm. Because there was no cars for all the kids then either, like there is today. Yeah. Um. Did you wake up early on Christmas? Oh yes. <laughs> we we go to try. We think we would go to midnight mass. <laughs> we couldn't all the time because the weather sometimes yeah. wasn't the best. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I I know. I always wake up early. I always try yeah. and wake up people at like four o'clock in the morning. It's Doesn't different. work. <laughs> it's different when you're. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the only thing is that you're lucky that you here and have good parents, my yeah. dear. <laughs> yeah. Because your mother and your dad are something special. I don't know. I don't know. If I know your mother or dad. Um, Jean, my mom used to be a brown owl. A what? A brown, brown owl. owl. Brown? A brown owl. Brown owl. Brown owl. Brown owl? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't remember that name, but I've heard it before. Yeah. She yeah. Is, used to be Jeannie Brown owl, and then my dad is from Canada, so you probably don't know him. Well, Canada, <laughs> but I always got uh, uh, interested in anything pertaining to Canada. Mm -hmm. I can't remember everything now, but I did. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Because I always thought that Canada was a special place. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. Yep. <laughs> Any Did... relation there yet, though, that you have there? Yeah. Her dad was from Canada. Yeah, yeah so I have, like, relatives yeah. that live yeah. there, and we yeah. go there all the time. Yeah. And that's way okay. with me, too, whenever okay. I think of all the people that I was, Paul, the Millers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
connection. They were from Frankfurt and Stuttgart, Germany, Paul's mother and father. And he was um, related to the Burkos, Paul was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yep. they from Independence, all that bunch at that time. Mm -hmm. Um, did you wear anything special for Christmas? Like, did any you get special presents? clothes? Yeah. No, if there was anything that we needed, my mother would sew them. She sew everything. Yeah, and we never had to go, go to get slips and underpants. Ma would make it for the girls, yeah. And Connors. Oh, how many years my mother and I would walk to Connors. She'd go look for whatever she needed, and then She'd tell him what she wanted, to, you know, by mm -hmm. pointing. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. Did you get presents for Christmas, or did you just get, like, a meal and, like, yeah, family just, and stuff? Just love and, mm. and, and yeah. happiness and good food. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We never had a lot of gifts in those days. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, did things change over the years for Christmas? Huh? Like, when you were little, did things change as... As you got older in, in, in the, well, like in Christmas. Well, see, Christmas it would have been stuff. after 41 and 45. The war ended in 45, and the cars and everything went to the service then. Mm -hmm. So it was different in my years because I graduated in 1945. Mm -hmm. See, and that's why I don't really remember too much that anything changed except that we were instilled that we worked and respect. And because that, that was it in 45. Because <laughs> in my days, you know who was my class president? You no, know Dr. Leo? Mm hmm. Yeah. His nephew, his uncle, Joe Leo, was our class president. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice. He lives in California, though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Joe Leo. And then there was so many good pe people and smart people. <laughs> Dick Knowles. He worked for the one daily register, Dick Knowles. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. In Italy, is it is it cold during Christmas? Is it cold in Italy? I don't think it's cold. When it's Christmas. Because uh -uh, Italy's a more or less a southern part of the... Yeah. Is so that like during chilly? It's <laughs> like during Christmas it's not cold. No. It's uh, nice. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. No. And of course, I, the only thing I know is how my mother and father were, you know, with whatever they said at that time. Because I was only two weeks. Two, two months old when they came here, and guess what? Mm -hmm. When I was in first grade, I couldn't even speak English. Miss <laughs> Olson was the teacher, and I thought later on when I grew up, I says, oh my God, how in God's name do teachers survive when <laughs> all these things happen to, in their classes? <laughs> first grade at Parkside, I don't know how our teacher survives. <laughs> yeah. And we then, of course, with me, things. I'm lucky that I did learn, because then mm -hmm. I still learn, I still know how to talk Italian and mm -hmm. English. And then I even took uh, uh, Spanish in school. Mm -hmm. Can you say some Italian for us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Una, do you track, watch a jingle. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Una, do you track, watch a jingle. See you at the Octanova Dacia. Man, man, <laughs> no, to is night. Mm -hmm. Bona is good. And good, uh, <laughs> I got in my brain, I've got to think. <laughs> and locha is eyes. No, uh, Ruka is mouth. Um, Kappa is head. Mana is hands. I can speak Italian, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is, must be a thing that 
God instills in people, because English, you don't forget that either. Yeah. Really, when you're taught English, you don't forget that. Yeah. And then beta is feet, and gappa is head. Yeah. What? Um, and then, of course, with me, with everybody in the medical field, I can't get over <laughs> how many in the medical field. Yeah. Did um, women have right for? Did women have right for like rights for jobs, or did they like, have to stay home? Uh, most of them stayed home when I was growing up, because all of them had families. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and they had to take care of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's all the questions we have. So. And then I think of all of us that we're lucky that we had <laughs> Owen, because Owen. Yeah. It was a railroad town and never forgot that because I used to have to walk to the roundhouse to take my dad's lunch pail for him. When I'd walk, I'd take, go to the roundhouse and go look for my dad. And when I'd go find him, he'd get out of the train and take his lunch pail and put it in a round manhole. They didn't have refrigerators like they have now, but he, 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 there was ice in that round manhole. And everything's changed from the farmers and the, all the things, because there was grocery stores. Mm -hmm. they, they had Frank Leo's, James Leo's, and Pure Food Groceries. There were three grocery stores on that West Charles area. And the grocery store later on, it was Maziati's first, and then Pure Food Grocery. And that, then that one daughter of uh, Bill Smith was married <laughs> to a Knapp. Doreen Knapp, was she married to a Knapp and all mm -hmm. that. Um, is there... A certain reason why when your family came, well, when our family came from Italy to America, to Owain, I, to, you know why I think he, my dad and mother came to Owain, my dad was here first, see? Yeah. Hi, David. <laughs> Hi, hello, these are my special people. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. You, tell them your name. My name is Megan Berg. Megan Berg? Berg. Berg? Yep. Next, my son, <laughs> David Miller. <laughs> and next, my darling, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> now, she's a Stacy. <laughs> yeah, and that's different too because we're lucky we're all here. And then Who are your parents, May? Um, Jeannie Berg and Bill Berg. <laughs> you have brothers and sisters? Uh, yeah, I have. I have Matthew Berg, Kylie Berg, Andrew Berg, <laughs> Jessica Berg, Caitlin Berg, then me. A lot of them, huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> Yeah, Andrew Berg, I, I think I knew that name, yeah. What do your mom and dad do? Farm, Farm. by Stanley. By Stanley? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and we're lucky that we're, we're here in Owain. I think Owain and I was a good place because in my young years, Paul and I, we went to the Bahamas. And, Oh wow. Yeah, and nice. it's, huh? I didn't know. That. Yeah, and we went on the boat too. And I never forgot that boat. It was something mm -hmm. special. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, and then um, it's kind of different in our days what happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what else was I going to do? Oh, oh, there was a boy. His, when the railroad left Owen, his folks went to Des Moines. But this boy, Sam Elio, he didn't want to go to Des Moines because he was in school here. And he wanted to live, so Paul and I had him live with us. 
until he graduated. And Sam Elliott lives in Washington State. It's, I think around Seattle. Paula and I did go there once to visit, but it's been a long time ago. I lost track of everybody that, you know. Yeah. Yep. It's different. Well, I think that we Anything else that would be important? <laughs> Whatever you need said, I, I, we've got all the questions well, to answer. Well, as far as Christmas stuff... What are you guys doing? We're um, interviewing her to, um, like, for our learn, Christmas for program. Our Christmas program. Oh. We're learning, like, different cultures, like what they do for Christmas. I see. Mm -hmm. Christmas was special because it was more or less holy. It was more uh, holy stuff than we were growing up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the stuff of buying a lot of gifts. It was yeah. holy and going to church. Yeah. <laughs> having been lucky to have a mother and father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we were growing up, so you kids are lucky too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be happy and thankful you got them. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, but we gotta yeah, go. Yeah, we gotta so. walk. I don't know if I said the right things, but I hope. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yep. Well, that was very, very helpful. Huh? Yeah. Very, very helpful. Very. Thank you. Well, I'll have to open the door. Hold on. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. So, how did you celebrate Christmas growing up? Well, New Year's, Christmas Eve, we sat at the house. And my dad would have at night. We'd, we'd have dinner. You, you're not recording my voice. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 So what would you do? Yeah. We, we had we had you know we ate, all got together, family got together, and ate. Then we'd say a prayer and we'd say. Mm -hmm. We'd go to church on Christmas Eve, and we'd wait till twelve o'clock. Yeah. Yep. And that was it. We'd say a prayer. We all get together and we. My dad, we didn't have a lot of money, so we didn't get big presents like you guys did. But he'd give us some candy, we ate that candy, and that was it. What else was it? So, um, we have a song here, and we um, wanted to know if, does it's, it look look, if it looks familiar. And or what, is there or, any other songs? Yeah, that, that you would sing that are special. That yeah, like, are like traditional. Italian, traditional Italian songs for Christmas. I don't know. I can't read it. What's it say? Uh, right, just right at the top. The vent, then the vent. It says Veneta. Veneta adora that's an Italian? Yes. Yup, and then here are the words. If you need to. Yeah. If that, that's okay. No, um, we, we used to sing carols like Silent Night, Holy Night. Oh, um, like the songs that yeah, we sing like, now. Yeah. Yeah, we sing, we sing carols. Yeah. Okay. The little town of Bethlehem. <laughs> Silent Night, Holy Night. All is right, all is right. That's what we're saying. Okay. The came upon the The Lord has said it all. I don't remember it all, but we sang it after. Yep. We sang, we sang things like that. Yeah. So, uh, tell us about your background. Like, what you did. When you, like, like what, yeah. what, what did you do, like, when you were little? What would you do? Well, we didn't have a swimming pool, so we went in the river and swam. Oh, I love swimming in the creek. <laughs> and we didn't have a swimming pool. We went to the river and swam there. We to, that's where everybody swam. Then they got a swimming pool after. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so, culture, like, what would you have for foods? Um, so, like, tell what us would you about your culture yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean, what we ate? Yeah, like foods or 
or like different things that you just like Italians. traditions, just like yeah, your, just certain things that like Italians what's your schedule. Well, we didn't eat. We ate a lot of spaghetti, a lot of fish on Friday because you can't eat fish on Friday. And when we were kids, we didn't eat a fish on Friday. And on Sunday, we'd all have a, we'd have a Sunday dinner. I would get together have a Sunday dinner. We had had pasta and maybe a, a roast beef or some steak rolls or something like that. But during the week, we didn't eat much meat. We had we didn't have meat for breakfast. We didn't eat meat for breakfast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I okay. had a little coffee or a bit. Yep. <laughs> what was the most popular tradition at Christmas? Well, we'd get together and then we'd have a we'd have a Christmas tree out this day, and then my mother would always put a, a candle in the in the window mm -hmm. and always had the candle that was so God would know where your house would find your house. <laughs> and, then, and then we had the the little manger, you know, with the yeah. with the guy. So we want yep. to put the, we always put the a light in the window so God would know where you're at. <laughs> it's a little symbol. Um, what did you eat at Christmas? Yeah, any special foods that you that? Well, Christmas Eve Christmas. we always ate fish, and then Christmas Day we had we had a regular meal: pasta, mm -hmm. salad, yeah. meat. Yeah. Um. So, like, tell us a little about bit about like your, your faith, what you believed and what stuff, your belief. and how it changed. <coughs> what I believe? What do you mean? What I believe? Like, like your how, faith you in used to like your faith in God. How, uh, how, um, how serious was that? Was that like really like what? Bit, was that very important to we, oh, yeah. like? How house, did it my house, change? God was important. Mm -hmm. My mother would always say a prayer with us. And my dad would say. My dad was working that. He had to work Christmas Eve. But then he'd come home at 12 o'clock because he worked late shift. And we, my God, my, we always felt a lot because religion was important to us in that church, just like it is for you guys. You yeah. go to church. Mm -hmm. What else do I know? Um, what did you really um, focus, focus on, on Christmas? during Christmas? What did you really... Like, what was your main thing you were looking forward to? Yeah. We focused on the coming of Christ, the baby Jesus. <laughs> and everybody said a prayer for baby Jesus. Okay, um, what um, was church like? Was it similar to, like, what yeah. it is now? Oh, yeah. Or is it yeah. way different? What's the same? The same church. Yeah. Is it different in some ways, though? Uh, not really. There's more. Uh, that, there's more people up to it then. <laughs> and when we were kids, we'd go to commute, confession. Yep. We'd, we'd always be late, so we'd have to go to the priest's house, and then mm -hmm. he'd, he'd go to the priest's house and he'd give us confession in the house. We'd always go to confession. Now nobody goes to confession as much yeah. to do that. Yeah. There's only like a certain grade that you go to confession. Yeah, we always went to confession. Yeah. Um, was there any certain, was it like the sacraments, like the, like, you like each grade you do a certain sacrament yeah, or well, each age, when, would you just do I it? To, I had first Holy Communion, then I went to my mother, we, we went there for classes like you guys probably did. I didn't go to yeah. Catholic school. Yeah. yeah. Then I go, we'd go to, but then in the confirmation we had to learn the Lord's Prayer. Our Father and Hail Mary, the full of grace, the Lord is the best of the best of the best of the best of the best Mary, Mother God, pray for sinners now to our Lord, death, amen. <laughs> you don't know that one? Wow. Don't you know the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is yeah, the best of 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 <laughs> you can say it real fast. Well, he's been saying it for a while. Yeah. Did you do anything special in Christ during Christmas time? Did, like, did you go like to Any different, different houses, places. your friends? Well, yeah, we go to our. We probably go to my aunt's house, and stuff like that. Yeah. We go, mm -hmm. go to the aunt's house. Mm -hmm. Um. Did you get like breaks from like school or work and stuff for holidays? No, what do you mean breaks? Like breaks, like 
would you not go to school for a certain period yeah, of time? Yeah, yeah, there's three weeks, two yeah. weeks in there. Yeah. A week and a half, whatever it was, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. You didn't go to school during Christmas, no. Yeah. Yep. Was there people for holidays, like... Was there certain people for holidays like that Santa, you, like Santa, or the Easter Bunny? Uh, there like, was Santa, but but we didn't have like you guys got Santa Claus. We didn't yeah. have a lot of presents because we were, didn't have the money. Mm -hmm. We had the money you guys got. We didn't have the toys. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a bike. I didn't have all that stuff like you guys. Mm -hmm. got. Mm -hmm. Um, were holidays important, like, or was it just like? Sure, it's important. Yeah, Christmas is important. Sure. Um, did you get presents, or did you just um, get a meal and, like, no, family? And we didn't stuff? have, no, we didn't have presents like you guys did, no. Like, like I said, my dad would give us some candy. He'd go upstairs, and there's a, there's a register up there, up there, and he'd throw candy down to us. <laughs> That's sweet. that was a big deal, because we didn't have the money like you guys got. Yeah. Yep. We, we, we didn't, we just didn't have it. My dad... Didn't have the money. Mm -hmm. um, did like the your Christmas like change Christmas over traditions years? change over the years? That when well, you were, I don't know. I suppose you have. Yeah, sure. You guys you know, nowadays, if you yeah. don't have fourteen thousand presents, you, you, you thought you got beat. <laughs> <laughs> open that one up. We didn't open presents because we didn't have it. We didn't. Mm -hmm. We didn't. We didn't. My family had love. That's what we had. We had. We had a family. Yeah. We didn't mm -hmm. worry about did he get a present or a shirt and that kind of that was it. Yeah. Okay. Was it uh, cold where you were for Christmas? Cool. Cool. Like in Italy, is it cold during Christmas time? Well, mm -hmm. not in Italy, where my folks were out in the mountains. It was a little. Yeah, I was a little chilly. I was cold, snowed, yeah. but in Rome mm -hmm. it doesn't snow. That snow. Uh, nope. Um, did women have the rights for or certain like jobs, jobs and stuff? Or what do you mean? Like. Like, uh, could they when you were growing go, up, like, could they, like, could they, could have, they a have a certain job, uh, like, or yeah. could they, do they or have the rights they, to, or did they have to stay home with yeah. their family? Yeah, more women stayed home with their family then, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More women didn't work. Mm -hmm. My mother worked at home. She washed clothes, she made bread. Mm -hmm. So, like... All they like they could go and have jobs or and well, women didn't work out of, out of the house much in them days because it was too much to do at all. Yeah, they had to yep. take care of the family, the kids. Mm -hmm. Um, what kind good. of clothes did you wear on, on Christmas? Like, yeah, did well, you wear anything special for like church no. on Christmas Eve? <laughs> whatever, like, whatever my mother could it. sew for me, she would <laughs> sew my clothes. She, then she'd patch them up for us. We never, yep. we never had, we never had clothes uh, mm -hmm. for a different place. Like no. dresses and suits no. and stuff. Yeah. Dude, you're you going to cry well. pretty soon. <laughs> you're going to start crying pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else do I know? Um, did you ever, like, were you so excited for Christmas to come, did you wake up early? <laughs> like she does? Well, yeah. not really. Go ahead, she's talking now. I'll look. I'll look. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, what? Well, uh, do you know the reason why um, your mom and dad chose Owine as a place to live? Because there was a, they had to come there to find a job, and they knew somebody that had a job on a railroad, and their dad got a job on a railroad. Yep. Okay. Okay. So. That's, yeah, um, that like, was all the questions, all the questions that you want to say any other things yeah. about your background and stuff. Things that you think we need to know. Yep. Yeah, they were good people. They were good people. They were family people. And the most important thing to them was a family. That's the most important thing. Family, family, family. Yeah. Yep. You help each other. Yep. That's what, that was it. That's what you guys should be too. Yep. Yeah. No, don't get mad at Nick. Don't hit him. <laughs> you gotta, when you get older, you got. If Nick needs help, you help him. And if he need, if you need help, he should help you. You guys should help each other. Don't leave him hanging.
What else going on? No um, other questions? I think we're good. So how how like did you go up like learning um, Italian? Italian or well, English? I I went to when I went to uh, first grade or kindergarten. I didn't know how to speak in English very well, but then I learned English when I went to class. Yeah. And then I spoke Italian a lot. <laughs> yeah. Because my mother didn't talk much English. She talked Italian a lot. My yeah. dad, my dad learned English yeah. because he, my dad uh, went to the army here and, and uh, he learned English. But he, yeah. So my mother didn't, which she probably should have, but she learned very few words. Yeah. But there's a lot of Italian ladies there, so she associated with them. So she, that's the only way, that's the only association she got. That yep. Was terrible, but that's the way it was. Um, what, what was school like for you? Yeah, like... Oh, well, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same, but then, but then it, it was a little different. And we didn't have what you got now, computers and that. Of course, they mm -hmm. never had that until lately. So, like, yeah. the ideas, chalkboards and all they that taught, stuff. Yeah, they, yeah, they had chalkboards yeah. and that. Uh -huh. They taught us how to Did you have to help read. clean the chalkboards and stuff? Yeah, they did. Yeah. They taught us how to read. How to talk. They taught us mathematics. Yep. Reading, writing, and arithmetic was what they did. That was, yeah. that was a, they had a song, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Taught by the, the hickory stick or something like that. I forget what that is. Yeah, but then they taught us. They taught us how to read. Too bad I never learned. <laughs> <laughs> and I was good at mathematics, so. <laughs> yep. So where where did you go to school? Parkside. Parkside. Up the, the Parkside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then no Wine High. Oh, yeah. oh yep. so you so you went to. Oh, in high school, yeah. where you yeah. got okay. But the tornado took the school down that I was in. Yeah. Oh. And now we have a new one. Yeah. I don't know. It was, it was different, but the same, basically. Yeah. Yep. So. So what yeah. do you guys do with this? Have you guys read it through Corin? Um, it's well, it's for our Christmas program. Yeah. We're supposed to... Um, uh, learn about different cultures, and that's what the the play part's gonna be about this year. Yeah. Different cultures and how they celebrate Christmas. Yeah, well, yep. we celebrated Christmas. There was more. Christmas was more on you know, instead of commercializing like they do now, presents and that. <laughs> it was more towards religion. Yeah. It was yep. more towards God. It was towards. It was uh, uh, it towards they used to sing carols. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they still do that or not. Yeah, they yeah. sing a lot. We sing a lot of yep. carols. The, the Silent Night, Holy Night, Ten Minutes Clear and all that. It was all carols. And people would go out caroling a little bit. Yep. And then, uh, but then it was more about God. Yeah. Now yep. it's more commercialized. So what would you get for Christmas? Yeah. They didn't say, what would you, you get for Christmas? We didn't do a lot of that. Better to give than to receive. Oh, a little bit, but it wasn't like now. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you don't have 14 presents, you thought you got beef. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like what we Rosie said. She's, yeah, she's kind of said something like that. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, was, it was more of legend. Yeah. People, people, uh, they did more with religion. Yeah. I never get 14 presents, so... Yeah, well, we have a lot of people, so... <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's it. Thank yep. you, Grandpa. Thank you so much. Yep. Really, it boils down to one thing. Religion, religion was the first part of Christmas, and then commercializing it wasn't yeah, it was much. Did you have, like, TVs? Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you guys we, had. We didn't even have a radio. Mom. Well, we did too have yeah. radio. I should think that. Yeah. We didn't have a phone. Though. We never had a phone yeah. until we, yeah. until I was almost in high school. Oh, wow. We never had phones. There's a few people. I bet they cost them. a lot when they first came up. Well, yeah. people didn't have phones much until they didn't have them.
Well, thank you so much. Yep. That really helped. Yep. Thank you. It, it really boils down to Christmas was was what it means. Christ. For yep. Christ. Now it's 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 still Christmas, but it's yeah, so it's, it's more different. it's more towards uh, commercialized. Yeah. And people are like yeah. starting to drift off. So. Yeah, yeah, Christmas is a little different. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yep. Thanks. Yep. We did. We used to have to buy our um, uh, pencils and spelling books and tablets. Yep. Tablets. They didn't want us to be um, behind from the other sixth graders because they have laptops. So they. Well, that's good. Have. Can you move that? They I'm have us have that. that so. Okay. Okay. Oh. So. So we just have some. Questions for you for how you celebrated Christmas. Okay. So, well, they went to midnight mass. Well, they had a lot of pastry, Italian pastry, and they had a lot of fish. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, Christmas Eve, we didn't eat meat, we ate fish. Yep. And vegetables. Okay. And then we went to midnight mass. And, well, the table was always set with food. The table was set with pastry and oranges and nuts. Yeah. Mm, and after okay. midnight, with midnight mass, then you could uh, eat because so you had to fast uh, to take Holy Communion. Yeah. And uh, then after mass, we you're talking about the Catholics, not the Italians. Well, it's the same That's thing. the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Um. Were there any? Um, special things that just you guys would do for um, for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, we had a nice. We went to church, and then we we had a nice uh, family get together with dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. And friends. Yeah. The friends came over at dinner. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, midnight mass was a very big thing. Yep. Yeah. Did you get up early for Christmas? Like, if you went to 545 mass, yes. The ones that went to midnight mass didn't go to the day one, but the ones that went in the day went 545 or later. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, what else do you want to um. What did you focus on for Christmas? Yeah. What did you? really really focus on family and friends family and friends yep and church okay um well what kind of food would you eat for christmas christmas well we had meatballs and rolls and meat and steak rolls and meatballs and spaghetti and chicken and turkey okay all right did you get breaks from like school and work for holidays? Just no. school. School. Yeah. School. 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 Were like, they important to it? Yeah, oh, they were very important. Yeah, because they were mostly religious holidays. Those were the yep. important ones. Yeah. Um, were, uh, is, did you go to different places for Christmas? Like, did like, you, did you go to your friends special? or your aunts? Or no, somebody? not really. Nope, you always stayed home? Stayed home, yeah. Did you um, get we presents or did you just yeah, get we a, to a We went to the aunt's house. You went to the aunt's house? Yep. Okay. yep. Did you just, um, did you get any presents, presents or, or just oh, any yes. other family? <laughs> no, they, did, they didn't go big on presents. <laughs> yeah, we got, didn't have the don't money. put that down, but we got an orange. <laughs> Kumbaytis. Yeah. Kumbaytis. Yeah, we got Kumbaytis. Yeah, we got candy. Um, and what, our what was church like? Was it simi similar or different way different than no, what it, was it is? It was, it was more, um, uh, yeah, it was different because uh, 
you had to dress when you went to church. You had to have something on your head. Women had to wear something on their head. They couldn't go with can't. Uh, they couldn't uh, go like with shorts or That's right. tank tops. They kick yeah. you out. Yeah. yeah. I wear dresses. Actually. Well, yeah, mostly dresses. I have to. And uh, they had to wear hats or something on their head. Yep. And it was quiet. Church was quiet. You didn't talk. Yeah. And, and then, and they had candles. You could light a candle. Ooh, cool. Put, yeah, put a quarter in and light a candle. The church was all in Latin, too. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't know what they were saying because it was all in Latin. Well, no, you had your missile. It was the trans. You had the Latin, and then on the other side was the English translation. So you, you know. All right. Um. Um. What was the most popular tradition? Yeah. What? What was the? thing that everybody did when you guys were younger for like as a tradition for Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Well, we were mostly in, in our own neighborhood with the Italians and their tradition was that they, the same. Uh, it was, the was same. all the same. Mm -hmm. It was mostly with friends and family. Yep. And they made their those axes and uh, well, the kitchen and leelas and stuff mm -hmm. like that. They had, well, like they do now, they, uh, they made their Italian pastry. Like they make cookies today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, was it cold where they were? Was it cold? Like, yeah. like uh, in Italy, is it cold at Christmas, Christmas? time? Christmas? No, no, not any different than here. No. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> One second. Um. What? Tell. Tell us about your culture, like what you'd eat on a regular basis, like what 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 did you normally do on your normal day? Normal day we went to school, we came home for lunch, we went back to school, we came home for supper and that was it. Went to the games once in a while, went to, went to the, the, the games, the school games and uh, what you kids do, the normal. Same thing, yeah. it's just the same. Yep. Yeah. Okay, um, where's the song? Um, I need to go get something real yep. quick. I'll fold it up. We have a Italian Christmas song here, and we just wanted to know if you, um, if it looks familiar, if it looks familiar to you, or, or if there's, if it doesn't, that's fine. Yeah. Or if there's any other songs yeah. that, in particular, that you would sing. Yeah. Like Merry Christmas, like that was your favorite. Let's tell me who it is. It's Nita Adorinus. It's from the Sodoran. But that was popular then too. Yeah. What else? What are the songs? Is that the only one? That's the only one I said. That's uh, all the. That's all one song. Well, that's all one song. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, they sang that in our day. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, did you have like people to like look up to for holidays, like Santa or Easter Bunny? Like, did no. you guys? No. Okay. We didn't have an Easter Bunny. We didn't even have a Santa Claus. <laughs> One um, few Italians they didn't have Santa Claus. They had Saint Nicholas. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that story very well. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about your background. Background, like, um, like what you did when you were a kid. What you did, yeah. What, what, yeah, what same, was special? The same, the same thing you kids do. Mm -hmm. yeah, we were so oh, yeah. We went to school. We came home. We had friends. Yep. At school, we belonged to, it was called GAA, Girls Athletic Association, and uh, you played uh, with different teams, same thing. Mm -hmm. If you were good, you, yep. you earned a letter. We played volleyball, basketball, mm -hmm. uh, yep. running. Yep. Uh, um, uh, kind of close. Clo did yeah, what kind of clothes did you wear on Christmas? Yeah. On Christmas? Yep. A, a nice outfit, a, a skirt nice. and a blouse or a sweater. Yeah. yeah. And uh, our saddle shoes and anklets mm -hmm. when we were young. Did you My the grandma. Uh, yes, yeah. no. no. uh, Jeremy, Jeremy oh, got no. a pair of saddle shoes, oh. and the dad. Uh, oh, and, and, and the dad said, uh, you know, he uh, you know, mentioned that he wore saddle shoes, and that just freaked old Jeremy out. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. So. 
What was your, like, Fa your what was faith. your faith like back what, then? Yeah, what was... What was, what was your faith like? Yeah. Her what? Our, our faith. faith. I think they were more devout because they... That was a big thing in their life. It, you know, we you know, took it real serious. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did things? Did like your faith change over the years? Like was Christmas like? Was it different? Well, it's not, yeah. yeah. It's different. It's more commercial and uh, it's more. It's not based so much on religion. That is, uh, as just a plain holiday. That's what's well, changed. Some people still the same. Well, for some, but yeah, yeah. it's the same. It's the same um, people still like Christmas. Yep. And not liking, it's not liking Christmas, I said. Well, it's not as, uh... Oh, yeah, they, they, they say a lot of people still go to church, don't they? Yeah. Yep. Um, That's why you see so many empty pews. <laughs> no, no, Christmas. Christmas Eve, they would attend Black Mass at 9, Black yeah. Mass at 4. Yeah. Um, that's all the questions oh. we have. Yeah. We've got... We had them. Yep, we have all the questions. Is so. there any other in particular um, thing, thing we, you would like to tell us about? Yeah. That's good. What? what <laughs> no. Ask me what? How are you doing? No, I didn't even get him to. Yep, so. It's not, it's not any different really than, uh, mm -hmm. than today. It's just that they're more liberal today with their clothing and uh, what yeah, it, like, mm -hmm. it, it was, you did go to church. That was a moral sin if you didn't go. Now they feel like going fine. Everything was a moral sin if, if, if you, you had a fast before you went to communion. Yeah. See, that was different too. See, you couldn't drink or eat anything before you went to communion. That's right, I forgot that. Yeah. Wow. They took um, it differently. Yep. Did you guys get like candy for Christmas and stuff? Oh yeah, we had some candy. We didn't have an overabundance of everything, but we had candy. Mm -hmm. We had fruit. We had nuts. We had pastry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's all the questions. Thank you. Yep, you were helpful. Imagine my be a regular uh, reporter someday. <laughs> sure. I forgot church was all Latin too. Yeah. And, um, I used to like the Gregorian chants. And you had, before you went to church. communion, you had to go to confession. Yeah. That's right. That was another thing you had to do. I didn't have to quite kind of understand. Why are you laughing? You don't believe that, do you? <laughs> I want to see a report when you guys are done. Okay. You, okay. Better, get, you better get an A. Oh, we will. <laughs> you go to Sacred oh, Heart too, then? Yep. Yeah, we're in the same place. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. How many Eight. are in your class? Twelve. Wow. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Thirteen, that's... Um, including the teacher. Yeah. My gosh. Well, that's, good. that's a good class. Yeah. Yep. We get a lot of attention. Yep. Um... So my first question is like, well this is for my Christmas program so we're, we're kind of focusing on how different traditions, how different cultures celebrate Christmas. So um, how, what did you do for Christmas? What did we do for Christmas? Yeah, like what, what would you do on a, like on like Christmas, Christmas Day, Eve. Oh, Christmas Day, Christmas, day yeah. Christmas Eve, Christmas yeah. Day, yeah. anything. Christmas Eve. Uh, this family, we had five kids, so yeah, <laughs> that took up quite a bit right there. Five kids, and we had, you know, family get together, and mom always made um, uh, potato soup <laughs> for after midnight mass. We went to midnight mass, and she'd have potato soup made for us. Sometimes she'd invite uh, another couple in with their kids, not real often, but sometimes and they had kids around our ages after midnight mass, but not too often, because everybody wanted to get to bed to wake up to Santa Claus the next mm -hmm. day. Yeah, so, yeah. so, like, um, so did, like, Santa Claus, did you have, like, the Easter Bunny, too, for, or, or, like, the Tooth Fair, or any, like, what, what we have today? Yeah, it was very, very, very similar. Santa Claus, Mom, well, 
Santa Claus hung the stockings in our bedroom. My two sisters and I all slept in the same room. And he'd, we'd, we'd find the, the tallest stocking that we could find. <laughs> At that time, you wore knee highs all the time. And then they'd put apples, oranges, toothbrush, things like that in it then. And those were treats for us. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, opened up. We got. I remember getting the doll one time that I liked real well. And then uh, uh, the kids, all of us kids, we drew names and had a limit to how much, you know, that you could spend because we spent our own money. And did that. We'd open up those presents the night before Christmas. The presents that we gave each other. I remember my sister gave me a promise that I could wear her sweater to school one day. <laughs> I was just thrilled because I loved her sweater and I wanted to wear it. <laughs> so... Her Sacred Heart sweater. <laughs> <laughs> really, it was. <laughs> so, in a normal day, what, what would you do just like in a normal day? On a holiday, you mean, or just any just day? Just any day. Oh, gosh. Like a school day or yeah. sometime in the summer or something. Summer? Oh boy. We keep busy in summer. We get up. I never was a sleep in person. I like to get up. Um, get up, help mom with the housework, a little bit of housework, and then maybe help a little bit with lunchtime. And then we'd hurry up and eat and go play tennis. <laughs> Most of the time, go swimming once in a while. To, pool, but uh, we had a pool in Waverly, we used to take a bus to once in a while, if we could raise a quarter, cost a quarter to go there, mm. I'd go down and help my aunt with her hotel, I'd clean her lobby for, and she'd give me a quarter so I could go swimming. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, um, how, what's your heritage like, like, how, how are you Irish? Like, My mom and dad both were Irish. Okay. Yeah. So, um, who came o who came over from Ireland uh, here? Uh, hmm. I don't know that far back. I don't think I don't that I know of. I don't remember anybody, but there could have been, you know way, way back. I, I just don't know. My, rel my relatives that I knew were from the United States. My mom and dad's relatives, my relatives. They're all from the United States. Yeah. So, what... They're Irish, though. I mean. Yeah. So, like, um, what were some, like, Irish foods that you would eat. Oh, yeah, Mom, she had her beef stew, put cabbage in it. <laughs> Irish stew, they called it. Cabbage, carrots, ham, ham hocks. She'd always make that on St. Patrick's Day. And a lot of other days, too, because my dad liked it. It was good. So, what are, are what religion do most Irish people, what? Catholic. Irish people, Catholic. Catholic, yeah. Catholic. What was Mass like when you were younger? Well, it was done in Latin, for one thing. It was, you know, like it is now, but it was said in Latin. Yeah. And the songs were a lot, were all Latin, most of them. And we sang in the choir when I was in school. I like that. I enjoyed that. So, what was family like? Um, what was family like? What, how important was family to? I very important to us. Very, very important. We took care of one another, you know. Yeah. Um, and mom and dad both worked, so yeah. we helped out, you know, and took care of each other. They, mm -hmm. they were home a lot, too. Mom was home a lot. Yeah. But just took care of each other, care for each other. Um, 
what was like the main focus um, that every Irish person would focus on? What would they focus on? Oh my God. Uh, raising a good, trying to raise a good family, decent family, good family, mm -hmm. and make a living. That's about it. Tried to get along with each other, <laughs> which sometimes didn't work, but most of the time it did. <laughs> <laughs> um, why did your family, do you know why your family chose a wine to live? Well, my dad had, you know, relatives that had stores here, store here, and they liked old wine. They knew, you know, they, they lived here all their lives, and they knew people here, had good friends and, fam and their families, and we all kind of hung around together, you know, to go to each other's houses on Sundays, play at their house. So and they'd come over to our house and play. <laughs> yeah. We um, down by the post office. Is there any other things that you would like me to know? Or no, I, I just, if you're talking about our family, it was a great family. <laughs> <laughs> I miss them. That's about it. It was a good family. Mom and Dad worked hard. And then we each, you know, got a job as we got older. <laughs> Always had a little dog or a little chicken, baby mm -hmm. chicks, stuff like that. So did you live in town or? Yeah, we lived yeah. down by the post office for a long, long time. And those duplexes by the post office. That was home to me. <laughs> and then, a lot of my friends live nearby, too. What was school like? Oh, it was great. We enjoyed it. Goofed around a lot, but I liked it. I enjoyed it. There were some classes that were a little bit harder than others as you got older, but I enjoyed it. It was good. Went so Heart. you went to Sacred Heart yeah. um, all the way through? Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. Mm. All of my, well, my sister didn't. She changed to go to public school when she was about in ninth grade, tenth grade, something like that. Okay. But the rest of them all went to say to heart. Marty David. No, oh, he's right here. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's all my questions. That's it? <laughs> yep. Do you, do you want me to know anything more? Or? No, I just... I had a nice, a lovely family. We all loved each other, took care of each other. In fact, my sister and I slept together for a lot of years. And then my other sister slept in the other bed. So... And, you know, some of that, my brother was gone in service for a while. I don't remember yeah. him for a while. He was a few years older than I was. So he... I don't remember him as well as I do the rest of them. But he was there. <laughs> oh, Mom, every night, don't forget to say a prayer for Jack. Don't forget. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much.